What's up guys, and here is Paris once again with the next part of my DMC Let's Play. This is part 4. As you can see, we are working through the city, we're going towards reality. So let's watch Cat walk slightly in front of us. Yeah, let's watch that go. Another reality uh, thing. Let's awkwardly go past this fat man, and this is where things go wrong. We have been spotted. You wouldn't be surprised to hear the missions you know, has the word watching it after that. So let's head out. So unsurprisingly, we've been dragged into the boat because I was stupid enough to get spotted. No, this is the thing. So, <laughs> like in many games, TV shows, films, if people were sensible for a second, they, a lot of the problems would be solved. So, let's see what they're going to do to me. Let's go do some killing. Ooh, ouch. So, I'm mixing up my weapons as best I can, you know, getting in there. Variety in the different attacks. Remembering some of the uh, different moves, yeah, you saw at the start the age of weapon that I did a move that I hadn't used before with it because I'd uh, to an extent forgotten about it. Yeah, so it's actually good that uh, I'm actually testing and Ensuring that I'm using different ones. So you can already see that I've already brought the uh, star ranking up to SSS. Yeah. Which is nice to see the fact that I'm already making good progress. So let's go towards the camera. Yeah, all the cameras take a little effort to get towards you. Yeah, there's a bit of a platformy style to get there. Yeah, with lots of pulling. Uh, I quite like this as a level generally. Yeah, um, again, one that was featured in the demo and thus. Uh, my let's play of the demo all that time ago. Um, I think it was quite a good mission to actually introduce you to the game. You know, there's sufficient of enemies, there's the different abilities. You know, it shows off very much this sort of thing of the world being against you, which, you know, it's a feature of the game generally, and I think it's a really nice level for showing it off. So I think demo wise, they chose. Actually, pretty well. You know, they chose a strong boss, a strong level to do it with, you know, and uh, I think they did that um, quite well with the um, fourth one as well. Uh, the choice of the levels and boss what was quite hell? strong. Um, I forgot to change my gun beforehand, so this is not going to go as smoothly as I would like. Somehow. I managed to get hit, not hit at all, um, which is weird, but I didn't kill it either. Typically, uh, I like a shotgun, so that kind of thing, and you hit them as well as possible. That's the one nicety I do like in some of the scenes where you, know, you jump and land, you know, the way he slides to a fall, I do like the way that works. Yeah. Um, so, there's so much I can say, I can work calorically um, about the different card games for ages, yeah. I would say it's probably my favourite series overall. Yeah, and though a bit sad to see the original Dante gone, um, it's nice to see that it's still being looked after. Yeah, a series that I'm such a massive fan of is not being completely neglected or lost. You know. I said there's a reason I you know, love the series, and yeah, you know, it, it's nice. To feel like that's still being looked after. Yeah, and though I perhaps disagree with it being called a demo cry game, uh, it could have easily uh, and strongly have been a game on its own. You know, the conveyed own own character and done its own story, it would have been equally as good and as fun because the gameplay itself is yeah, excellent. You know, Good fun. They didn't necessarily need to even call this a room, but this could have been a different game entirely. So, yeah, that, that's just a personal opinion. Yeah. There's other people that will think differently, but yeah, I'm not going to bemoan it as much as other people will. That 
what happened in the way that we it's gone. Yeah. I'm happy enough that my game is still being done with that video. Uh, I don't know if they're planning to do like um, any more. Yeah. They did the Virgil's download. Yeah, did Virgil's download DLC. Um, but there hasn't been anything else since, which is a shame because it clearly must have the ability to add down content. But obviously, the third example was planned before the game was finished, same with Blue Palace. So maybe the DLC isn't true DLC, the fact that it had the ability to have that to begin with. Which would then be a shame because I, I would like to see more done, you know, even if they don't do another game. I kind of not complain to um, they're doing more, you know, even if it's just like a little thing, you know, for mission is showing you I don't know, maybe like introducing how things might go with changing to Virgil being the bad guy. Yeah, like how the dynamics changed and yeah. I think that's the best way to say what I mean. Yeah, just explore how that changes things up and how it might go if they did another game. Yeah, it would be nice if they did. I, you know, obviously they've opened it up sufficiently for them to do it. And there's the graphic novel, which I haven't read. You know, they did a graphic novel uh, for Virgil, which is supposed to um, follow some of the stuff leading up to his downfall. So. That'll be interesting to pick up at some point and yeah, just read and enjoy. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is kind of like just time wasting, but just showing that you can do that and you can do it from down there. There's not much in this room anymore. There's with a secret mission which should completed, um, and that's about it. So you then glide your way over there and let's yank the eye. One sure. more. One more. Over here, Dante. We're clear. Over here. Never seen a witch use a spray can before. So, in fact, there's a demonstration another feature of which uh, doesn't feature massively, but. Where'd you learn this stuff? Virgil taught me the basics of demonology and occultism. Built a natural talent for it. Said it would help me to focus on something constructive instead of. Instead of what? Constructive instead. Instead of focusing on nightmares. Okay. There you go. Okay. Shit. Cops. There you go. I gotta go. I'll find you. Shit. Let's make a run. So yeah, this introduces a gameplay feature which. Crops up here and there in the game, but not very often. Which is that the cat can spray stuff in the real world, which then gives you the ability to like pull and stuff like that. So if you, anyway, it gave us the ability to pull their stairs, which we wouldn't have done before. Which then gives us access to this whole different area. So I can break that door if I want. There's not much in this room. There was a lost soul. But there isn't any longer. Uh, and then just drop down here, let's destroy this eye. Boom! Come on, then, so, wish. obviously, as you would expect, <laughs> I'm a little bit pissed off at me, so let's kill Dante, as they say. So, I just about managed to avoid the shot there, which is part of the reason that I said that I, uh, like to pull myself close rather than look at the distance of the. I, say, I do like how smooth the gameplay uh, can feel, you know, despite having the different weapons. Yeah, I do like the way that they smooth how you can switch between weapons. Yeah, there was some uh, move towards that in the third and fourth games, but this has just added a whole new ease to it. Yeah, it's nice to get because. I was a bit disappointed sometimes with how difficult it was to do such a number of fingers, change your weapon. 
Yeah, I think sensational describes the yeah, Aegis Traverse a little bit better than uh, Smoking the Six Star, even though that is iconic of the Double Cry. So, here yeah, the, the town says, Crucium, so the walls come in. What do you expect? Again, I am. Uh, there's just something about the way they tilt the world and stuff like that that does to add something to it. So I'm just making room for it. Uh, I think I failed to do anything against that. By the time you get there, there's not much you can do, so it hits me anyway. Uh, so, well, I'll just go back to my craft weapons. I, I, I think, oh, maybe there's another one, and it's like, oh yeah, no, there is. I'm just going to crash through this window. Uh, uh, great. More enemies. So, typically, the way I um, do this kind of thing is I try and take out like the flying enemies pretty quickly, which is obviously they're the ones that cause you the most trouble. And then you, yeah, mop everyone else sort of after that. Yeah, obviously, um, different combinations of enemies mean different uh, troubles. Yeah, these ones yeah, you can only attack using uh, your angel weapons, so you can see why I was thinking of that. Even though I still get frozen. Yeah, it's a bit like the red ones as you can kind of use the um, demon weapons on. Yeah, and you have to really sometimes work hard to ensure that um, you use the right combination of the weapons. Yeah, sometimes you'll have an annoying combination of like, the angel and the demon ones. So you've got to almost like prioritize. Yeah, and that can be um, difficult to um, monitor sometimes. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, it's not exactly an issue, but yeah, it can make for tricky times, you know, when you've got several enemies and you've got to try and um, use the different weapons in a smooth sequence of events to ensure that yeah, things don't go wrong. So, these can be tricky when you've got four or five of them. Yeah, even two or three of them can be easy. Yeah, one's fairly easy, especially at this point, and the low difficulty and all the better weapons. Yeah, I'm able to take them out before anything really. So this is a sequence, um, I think they showed up quite early, the following sequence, where you're escaping, you know, where you've got to do the jump to jet, and I remember it as quite an iconic thing, sometimes you get a really smooth um, route through, and today I'm lucky enough to yeah, find it quite smooth for me, so I just quickly zoom my way through, and jump, 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 yeah. And of course, you're going to break for the window, aren't you? There's no other thing that you could have possibly done besides cause some vandalism. Which is exactly what happened. So you then see the real world and out of come. Out of the window directly. Cause a mess. And we've broken the church. Cat just runs away like a big scaredy cat. <laughs> scaredy cat. So a bit more Rapture news to you. This is a bit of the layering of the story actually. Not Dante. Look at me. If you see him, screw you guys. Because, yeah, being a sexual deviant makes it all the difference. I like that a little bit. It's just like sexual deviants. Like, that makes any difference whatsoever. But, yeah, so that's the end of that mission, guys. So, until next time, see you all. I hope you enjoyed.